drive to Deerlick Astronomy Village. So this is where I'll be camping for the night and some nice dark skies. Keep right to continue on Constellation Lane. So there's the setup for tonight. Got the little 80 millimeter for visual and then also the other 80 millimeter for photography. Got my cooler with snacks and computer for the imaging and my tent because I'll be camping out here tonight. So the skies look pretty good. There's a few clouds here and there, but it's generally clear. And this is the Deerlick Astronomy Village. So it's a nice field. Power everywhere, so it's just for astronomy. So I am at Deerlick and it's getting dark now. You can see there's Mars, Saturn and Jupiter. And the moon, Vega's up there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just waiting for Polaris, and then I will do my polar alignment and uh, get going. So it won't be too much longer. But uh, yeah, this is the the grounds out here. It's a very nice, wide open field, so you get great, great view. So I think I might go after either the uh, Sol Nebula or the Seven Sisters tonight and then as it gets later in the night Orion will be out so I um, might do the horse head or something around there don't know yet but I want to get one one object at least uh, six hours of data so yeah there's my tent so I'll be camping out here for the night so I started off with the Veil Nebula the Western Veil Nebula you can see my guiding's looking really good and this is one of the sub exposures on the Western Veil you can see there's a lot of detail coming through in these, so it looks pretty good. The skies are very dark here, it's Bortal Class 3. Milky Way is very clearly illuminated, stretching overhead, and uh, I'm debating if I want to shoot the Soul or the Seven Sisters after this, but I think I'm going to switch to the Soul. This is about to cross the zenith, so I won't be shooting it too much longer. I'll combine this with the data from the previous nights.